Hi everyone, I am happy to be back here with you today in our mindfulness circle. I hope that each of you are doing well as you navigate your way through this very challenging and difficult time. And I hope the mindfulness videos, suggestion, the teachings, and the guided meditations are helpful to you. Today I'm going to take a step back and cover some basics like why do you want to meditate and what are some steps, some very simple steps that you can take to get yourself grounded in a good practice. First and foremost, it begins with intention. Anything that you want to do in life, meditation, um, learn a new skill, um, heal an old wound, um, um, make friends with um, a part of yourself, uh, anything, anything you want to do always begins with intention. Intention is that greater context that um, surrounds us and that holds us to really live our lives to the best of our ability. So it, it would be um, no wonder that intention is the place to start with meditation. So where your uh, attention goes, your energy flows. And so intention begins with your attention and results always depend on your intention. So it's important to know why do you want to meditate? What is in it for you? What outcomes are you seeking? Um, what, what are you hoping to gain by, in, by meditation? So it's good to step back and what is it that I'm wanting from this practice? Maybe you want to cultivate more patience. Maybe you want to see what it's like to see how it is to be in your body in stillness. Maybe you want to experience and have a felt sense of gratitude. Um, maybe it's compassion that you want to um, have a greater awareness of for yourself and for others. So intention always leads the practice. And so as you begin, what is my intention for this moment in my life, for this sitting meditation? And that is where you begin. The second thing that you do is you find a quiet place where you will not be disturbed. Um, it is difficult to begin a meditation practice if um, your little one is, um, you're worried that your little one is going to um, need something or come knocking on the door or um, if you're expecting a phone call. So this is a time for you to set things aside and kind of go in and close the door and allow yourself to be undisturbed. So um, taking, silencing your phone, letting those in your household know that you're gonna do this so that you can really be in the practice. So now that you've found yourself um, in a quiet place where you can be undisturbed, now it's time to take a posture. And this can be anything. It doesn't, it's not a strict thing. It's really how you can place your body so that you can sit still for a while. So you don't have to constantly be jiggling and moving, etc. So that might be cross-legged. That might be laying down on the ground. That might be sitting with your back up against a chair or up against a wall. Just any place that you can put your body in a position where you can sit as still as possible. This doesn't mean that you can't move, but it is good to try not to move because when the body quiets and begins to settle down in stillness, the mind will follow. And the next step then would be to focus on or tap into the felt sense of your body. So what does that mean? What does that mean, you might ask me? What the felt sense of my body? I have a body, um, I'm supposed to follow my breathing, right? You might say, well, this is a little bit different. This is you making contact with your body. This is that first foundation of mindfulness, mindfulness of the body. And, um, and we use our breath as a place to focus. But I like to first invite people to tap into that felt sense that your body has weight, 
that you aren't perching on this in this position, that you can settle and feel steady here and that you have this weight and what is that like to be inside of that felt experience? What is your body like resting on the earth? That's a good question that you could invite in as you as you be, take in this next step of being with that felt sense of in your body. Where do I feel pressure on my back or on my the back of my legs or in my shoes or in my feet, um, of my hands on top of one another? How how am I in my body and can I feel what that is like, like an internal feeling? So after you've taken that step, then you can begin to um, connect with the fact that your body is breathing. You have your breath is happening by itself, moving effortlessly, and you begin to tap into that. You begin to become aware of that. Yes, you can bring your consciousness to your breath by taking a long, slow inhale and an even slower exhale. And you might wanna do that a few times to help yourself settle. But after that, you allow your, your focus to be just that in-breath and that out-breath. And um, some people f tap into that at their abdomen, and some people at their chest and some people at the nostril where they're feeling the air come in. And some people just have a more global sense that their body is moving back and forth, that breath is happening. And so wherever it is that you can allow the mind to rest in the body, in the body breathing, um, is a place for you to come back to again and again. So we have intention, we have a quiet room, uh, undisturbed, uh, we, have, um, <clears throat> we have our posture, and then we have this contact with the body, the felt sense, and then the breath. And now we remind ourselves that this is where we will return to again and again, over and over coming back to our breath. Our mind will wonder. It always does. We're always, the mind is, is busy. It will go into the future. It will worry. It will plan. Or the mind will go into the past, trying to redo something, make something better, or give our image a, a makeover. Um, and we just notice that without making a judgment and we invite our attention, remembering our intention for why we want to practice meditation, and we invite our attention back to the body, back to the body breathing, back to this felt sense that we're here and that in this moment we're okay. And the last step, or the next to the last step is commitment, that we make a commitment Whatever it is that we decided, whether it was going to be a new meditation practice just beginning with three minutes um, five times a week or five minutes, or maybe you're a more seasoned meditator and it's 20 minutes, you remember that you've made a commitment to sit here, to be in this flow of life and to be with yourself in this interested and curious way. And so you remember your commitment. And then last, but certainly not least, is for you to remember to take yourself and the practice lightly. So you hold this whole meditation um, experience with this light, light touch. You're not trying to make something happen. You're not trying to get something or get somewhere. You might feel relaxed at the end of it and you might not, but you're really trying to see what's already here in this moment and how you are already experiencing the moment. And so you just want to take that lightly because in the midst of allowing the moment to unfold and you're being becoming a witness of it, things will come up, emotions will arise, 
You'll, you might get distracted. You might get distracted by a strong emotion. And you just notice that. And you, if, if the emotion is very strong, allow yourself to go with it, remembering your uh, uh, commitment to come back once you've explored and acknowledged and felt fully that emotion. So this light touch um, is really an important part of the practice. Um, we don't want to scold ourselves when we go into the past or the future or we become distracted. We want to say, oh, this happens to me. And I might even discover that it's a pattern that I feel like I have to always be on or always be doing something. So we notice, become this gentle witness, and we invite ourselves back to the moment. I hope that you will find these simple suggestions useful um, to either begin your meditation practice or to support the meditation practice that you already have. Um, there, sometimes we, we forget why we're wanting to meditate or we, we, our meditation can become stale. And so sometimes reminding, having these little reminders, we're like, oh yeah, that's why, that's why I want to do this. I want to see what I'm up to. I want to be in my life. I want to experience it fully. And so we meditate. I'd like to guide you now through a simple beginning meditation practice. I like to think of um, a simple meditation practice as one that's like a pyramid. So the first foundation of mindfulness is that awareness of the body. That's that place we're always going to come back to. That's that place we're going to strengthen our awareness of and our ability to tap into. So that's that long base of the pyramid. The second foundation of mindfulness, awareness of feeling tones, that is that what is pleasant, what is unpleasant, what is neutral, and what are the feelings that are arising, the emotions that are arising. And when we have that strong base of support of our body, it helps us open our hearts to um, receive those feelings, to acknowledge those feelings. The next level, the next foundation of, uh, foundation of mindfulness is awareness of the mind. And I like to think of that as our minds are so busy and, um, and so we're giving it a little bit less um, dimension here as the pyramid goes up as a quiet mind. We want to open with that support of the body, with that openness of the heart, the quiet mind that we can um, use an image of the sky, that we can have a sky-like mind. And then at the top of the pyramid is the fourth foundation of mindfulness, which is awareness of life itself, the animating force of life. <clears throat> the, the um, what is surrounding us, that, that um, undergirds us, that holds us, that's unseen, that's a mystery. And so that is, that, that, that is, that itself is strengthened by that first and second foundation of mindfulness, that foundation of the body, of our feelings. And then that open sky mind helps open us to that fourth foundation of mindfulness. So this will be the direction that we will go in this meditation today. So remembering the simple steps, um, find a quiet place where you can be undisturbed and shut the door and take your posture, whatever it might be. And before you tap into that felt sense of the body, what is your intention? What is that greater context that you're meditating within? That desired result? And it might be different every single time you take your seat. Perhaps today it's a cultivation of patience. Mm -hmm. 
And now tapping into the felt sense of your body, that your body has weight. And so letting yourself really be in that. Feeling how you're supported by the chair, by the ground, if you're laying down. And support, this is support you didn't have to purchase or earn. You just have to allow yourself to feel that support. And this might be a place in the meditation where you might want to take two to three conscious deep breaths. Slowing the exhale down more than usual. And then allow your attention to rest on the movement of breath in your body. That natural movement, that natural rhythm. And just be aware that your mind will wander. That's normal. And so when you notice that you've wandered off into thinking about what happened or didn't happen, you just notice that and invite your attention back to the breath that is happening. without adding any story or judgment about it. And you can see this as a win, as an awakening. Inviting yourself back to the present moment. And letting this breath pattern be the focus, the anchor that you return to again and again. Letting yourself feel steadied by this Continual movement of breath in the body. And now moving up the pyramid and just inquiring what is the general feeling state in this moment. Maybe it's a sense of agitation. Maybe it's a sense of calm. You're not trying to make a feeling happen. You're trying to just inquire within to what is here already. What general mood or feeling is here? Again, tapping into that felt sense in the body, that support that you have from the chair, from the earth, that helps you open your heart to the feeling that's here.
now moving up that pyramid to the mind, to the big sky mind. Sort of getting above and beyond that constant mental chatter, the to-do list. Just seeing that this big, vast sky-like mind holds so much more than that. So much more than the day-to-day. And if it helps, you can bring to mind an image of the sky. Even if you just get a glimpse of this vast sky-like mind, let that count. now that top of that pyramid, that mysterious presence that's above you and below you, in front of you and in back of you, and to the sides of you. It might help to Open your eyes a little here and let them be soft and open out to your peripheral vision to get a sense of that vast space that includes you, that includes everything. Feeling how that felt sensation of the body can support can support accessing that presence, that spaciousness. Remembering who you are. I'll end this meditation with a reading called Remembering Who You Are. Remembering who you truly are when you breathe. All life breathes with you for you are all one breath. The air you breathe today was brought by the west wind from the far Pacific. And the air you breathe right now has been breathed out by a baby in Afghanistan. The air you breathed out last week will be carried by the wind to an elephant working the teak forest in Burma. And the wind makes us one with all the air-breathing creatures on earth. The prayers you breathe out are felt by creatures all over the beautiful blue planet. When you breathe, all life 
breathes with you and you are all one breath. Thank yourself for giving yourself this time to practice meditation, to contact your body, your heart, and your mind. It is good for your health and well being, and it is an act of love. May it be for the benefit of all beings everywhere. Thank you for your practice, and I wish you well. <laughs>